Hey everybody, welcome to the show. This is Wes, and today I've got a painting challenge set for myself. I'm going to be creating a painting from a blind contour drawing. In case you don't know, a blind contour drawing is a contour drawing, which means a line drawing where you do not look at your paper as you're drawing it. You'll have to take my word for it. The video I have doesn't include my face, but uh, <laughs> I wasn't uh, peeking at my paper. And uh, technically I went a little fast on this. I didn't... Uh, you're really supposed to, you know, inch your way along very carefully, like an inchworm moving across the paper and just following with your eye and moving your pencil as you do so. I'm using a charcoal pencil here just so it's easier to see on the camera and it's not positioned very well on the camera either but so I guess the viewer is partially blind as well but if you can't tell yet um, this is an onion yeah this is way too fast though I should it looks like it's sped up. Also in my mind I was thinking, well these onion shapes, the skin and the all that is going to be recognizable even if it's not perfectly aligned, you know, or perfectly rendered, you know, with the slow hand. Anyway, So here's the drawing. Um, I like how it turned out. And there's the little onion I was doing. And I didn't make the stem as long, kind of on purpose as I was going, because I knew it would, I would hit the side of the page soon. So I kind of left it like that. So now the painting part. I've got my drawing kind of taped onto a card, piece of cardboard on top and my canvas on the bottom. I'm starting with this dark background because I figured I would uh, do the uh, kind of do the line drawing again with uh, white paint on the dark background and then I had the thought that I would uh, change it up and do the like a white top part but then a a dark or black bottom part of the onion because so I was thinking you know the highlighted areas I would do in light and and vice versa. This, of course, I am looking at at the drawing and at the canvas as well. It's not a blind it's not a blind contour painting. I'm just using the the drawing as my inspiration for the painting so it's also not going to be exact but it's pretty close I think this would be a cool, uh, a cool thing to do with maybe a, a brush and like India ink on a, on smooth watercolor paper or something, just to give that very graphic, graphical quality to it. I'm not sure about the blind contour drawing with the ink, but I guess yeah, that would work. It would just you know I don't know how many. How, what the percentages would be of how many would work and how we wouldn't look good. I tend to like the look of most blind contours I've done anyway. And there's also the technique of modified blind contour where 
You can look at your drawing, but only when you stop your pencil. So you're moving it, moving your pencil as you're looking at the object you're drawing. And then when you want to look at your paper, you have to stop your pencil. At this stage, I, I, I'm pretty sure I was thinking the uh, the painting was going just fine. I, I didn't. Uh, I was kind of holding off my judgment. I try to do that, especially the beginning of a painting. You kind of kind of have to reach a point where you have to trust yourself that whatever direction the painting goes, you can kind of steer it and uh, make something out of it. So my intention is to kind of keep the lines as they are as much as possible. And so I'm kind of going through with some darker color behind the light, the bright white lines, basically, just to make them pop out a little better. Ironically, the thing that kind of annoyed me the most throughout this painting was the kind of the all the brush strokes in the background of the painting. If I had a way to kind of smooth it all out to make it one solid color, which I could have, I guess, but uh, at the time it, I, I didn't have enough paint on my brush, and so it was very streaky and and I was trying to paint it quickly, but but I think if it had been a more flat, solid color, the kind of the graphical nature of the line drawing would have been a little more pronounced. So here I had the idea that the that since I had the dark the dark lines on the bottom and the light lines on the top, I would make the top darker and the bottom of the painting lighter, just to emphasize the lines a little better. At the very least, this painting was very relaxing for me. I remember uh, getting caught up in the details and in the line work. And in fact, uh, one of these shots, not this one, but the, the second time I had the camera going, I lost track of time and the, the camera only films like 15 minutes maximum at a time, so... It stopped recording before the end, and I kept going without realizing it. This is actually one of my favorite uh, techniques in painting, I think, is the painting the negative space and leaving, you know, like lines... So you're kind of painting around the lines, which creates interesting effects. This, by the way, is in real time. I'm, I haven't sped up this part of the video. I'll do that for the last part.
Uh, one one question in my mind was whether to add you know more color to the painting or stick with this monochrome you know dark blue look. <clears throat> and I did end up adding color, which you'll see in a little while. Although most of the color I added at the very end and didn't catch on on video, but you'll see the final photo in a minute. So the one of the things I was not sure about is whether to you know leave the big gap in that top of the onion. I was going to leave the gap, but I didn't know whether to change the color and the value there or leave it the same as the background. Either way would work. One would look a little more like a a tattoo or a you know just a an icon or you know something like that. And this one would give it a little more, or this way would give it a little more three-dimensionality if I, if I had, as it's looking now, with the lighter color on the onion and the darker color behind it. So I kind of went with mainly that, but a little, a little of the other kind of bleeding in here and there, where the, where the background and the foreground are the same color and or value. That's the one uh, <clears throat> great thing about doing a blind contour is you get interesting um, line work. Usually you get, you know, nice, bold, dark places and then other places where it lightens up, where you're turning the pencil and everything. And so I try to emulate that with the painting as well, where some of it's like a uh, bolder line and others, are, you know, slighter. Yeah, and there's uh, my stage one complete where it's all all painted. And now this second part I've sped up just to save on time. My initial thought was to go back through and strengthen all the lines, you know, lighten all the white lines and darken all the, the black lines. But then I ended up not really caring for the white lines as much, and so I end up altering those a bit as I go. And I also add <clears throat> kind of a warm gray, which turned into more of an orange and on the skin of the onion. Because like I said, I didn't really have uh, an exact plan other than start by putting down the line of the of the drawing onto the canvas and then uh, going from there. So I wasn't even sure if I would uh, alter it a lot. I kind of did a bit, but not tremendously. You can still see it's the same basic shape as the drawing, same basic lines. Part of the reason I added the color, I think, as I went, because is because it kind of it could be an onion at this point. It could be a strawberry. You know, it's kind of hard to tell. See here, I'm trying to make the background interesting, but I think I should have kept it one solid value, or at least you know smoothed it all out a bit. It would have clarified things for me as I went along a little better. But I still like it as it is. And even better as it turned out. This little challenge has been uh, fun to do, and I'll definitely be doing more of these, more of the challenges, but also more of these. this specific challenge, maybe with different, maybe I'll stick with vegetables, or maybe I'll do some other, 
subject matters, but um, but I like this uh, this whole process of doing the blind contour and then painting it. Here's a bit of that yellowy, orangey, gray. And I started by just adding it to specific places where I knew the uh, that dry, you know, onion, onion orange, or whatever color onions are, where that appeared at the top part. But then I ended up incorporating it into the the bulb itself a little more like so Kind of creates that cell shaded look you see in some video games or uh, anime. In the final picture, I end up doing these these stems on the end. Uh, end up changing those to a light green, fading into white when it gets to the onion part. That is about it for this one. I'll have the picture up in a moment. Thank you all for watching. And if you have any ideas for more challenges, either subject matter or, you know, with this kind of a challenge or a different kind of challenge, any kind of art-related stuff I'm looking forward to, maybe some whittling or that kind of thing. We'll see. Thanks for watching.